welcome my friend to this 18 minute hip opening flow. With a practice focus on opening your hips, you may find stored stress or emotions may surface as we flow. Use your breath to let them go and nourish your body with your breath as we stretch and tone your body. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll join together in a comfortable cross-leg seated position, letting your hands relax wherever is comfortable, taking a soft gaze forward or gently closing your eyes, whatever feels best to support you drawing your attention inward and connecting with your body. Begin to notice your breath, the rhythm, the effects of your breath upon your body, the temperature of the air as it enters and exits your nose. The effect that practicing this breath awareness has upon your body, your mind and your spirit. Just begin to take any intuitive, feel-good moves that are calling to you, seated here in our easy seat. Maybe movement with your neck, movement that helps open your back or your heart, not worrying about what it looks like, just enjoying. Take five more breaths as you just move intuitively. Find stillness and make your way to hands and knees. And we'll tuck all 10 toes and lift your hips to downward facing dog. Another moment of intuitive movement in your down dog. Taking five more deep conscious breath here as you move intuitively. It's fine stillness and take a stroll or step one foot to the front of the mat and then the other, arriving in forward fold. Let's breathe in, lifting halfway, nice flat back. Exhalation, release, drawing your chest to thighs. Big, beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips down, around and up. At the top, exhale, cactus your arms wide side to side, drawing those elbows back as you slowly circle them down. Let's breathe and just circle them right back up. Palms kiss, reach back before you dive it down through center. Bring hands to frame your feet and we'll step your left foot back. Soften your back knee to the mat, keep those back toes tucked. And with front knee in line with your ankle, not going past, ensure that your feet are on two separate tracks. Hug your thighs towards one another, feeling how that engages and stabilizes your hips and pelvis. On your next inhalation, extend your fingertips to the sky. Exhalation, feel those squared hips sinking into the pose as you reach your fingertips back and lift your heart. 
Breathe in. Exhale, lower hands to frame your front foot. With back toes tucked, press up. And we'll step back for plank pose. We're coming into side plank pose next. So keeping your core muscles and your legs engaged, begin to shift your weight into your right palm and roll both your heels to the right side. Stacking your shoulders, your hips, and your legs. One foot can stack on top of the other, or you can stack one in front of the other. Whatever supports your body in balance. Extend those left fingertips up to the sky. Your gaze follows. Keep those hips nice and buoyant, lifted. Go ahead and press down to the ground in knuckles and fingertips to help prevent collapsing in your right shoulder. Keep your lower belly engaged and tailbone lengthen. Three breaths here. Feeling into your body, feeling your strength. Good work, lower your top hand to the mat, returning to plank pose. And then with your toes tucked, but then lower your hips and lift your heart for a tuck-toed variation of upward facing dog. Feel those shoulder heads draw back, your heart shining, and spread a soft smile upon your face, basking in that feel-good strengthening vibes you are cultivating. Now using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift your hips to downward facing dog. On your exhalation, extend your right toes high to the sky. Then exhale, draw your knee through, center lifted up and in towards your chest. Lift it up, up, up. Good, now with control, step your right foot near your right thumb. We'll spider your fingers forward, preparing for standing splits. Then shift weight into your right foot as you lift and extend your left leg to the sky. Toes reaching high. Your crown ahead lowers towards the earth, so you'll be drawing your chest closer towards that standing leg. Good. Let's bend that knee and stack your hips. Foot is flexed, solo foot is pressing away, lifting your knee high to the sky. Now we'll slowly re-extend your leg long. And let's square up your hips. So foot is flexed and your toes will point down towards the earth. Square across your hip points front to back and side to side. You may find that you can't reach as high and that's okay. Just lift that heel, engage that glute. On your next exhale, very intentionally, like there is a little resistance, lower your extended foot to meet the standing foot for a forward fold. Breathe in, lifting halfway. Exhalation, release, drawing chest to thighs. Take that big, beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky. And then at the top, we'll cactus your arms, drawing your elbows wide side to side as you slowly circle them down. Taking that to the second side. We'll breathe in, circle those fingertips right back up. Palms kiss, reach back, and then dive it down through center. Hands frame your feet. We'll step your right foot back this time. Lower that knee to the mat. Keeping those back toes tucked. Ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle, not going past. Feet are on two separate tracks. Hug your inner thighs towards one another, feeling them engage, lift. On your next inhalation, extend your fingertips to the sky. Then exhalation, melt those hips forward and down into the pose, lifting your heart, reaching your fingertips back. Breathe in. And exhale, lower your hands to frame your foot. With back toes tucked, we'll press up, finding your plank pose. Side plank pose on the second side. Keep your core engaged, legs engaged, and shift your weight into your left palm, rolling your heels to the left side, we're stacking your shoulders, your hips, and your legs, and then extending those right fingertips high to the sky, gaze follows. Taking whatever variation you prefer with your feet on this side. Hips lifted and buoyant. Press down through your grounded knuckles and fingertips to help stay open across your chest. Lower belly engaged. Lengthen your tailbone. Three breaths. 
staying present in your body, feeling your strength. Good work, lower that extended palm to the mat for your plank pose. And then we'll keep your toes tucked, lower your hips down through center and lift your heart for your tuck-toed variation of upward facing dog. Shoulder heads draw back, heart shining bright, soft smile upon your face. Using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift your hips to down dog. Inhalation, extend those left toes high to the sky. Then exhale, draw that knee through center, hugging it up and in towards your chest, lift it up. Good, now with control, we'll step that left foot near your left thumb. Spider your fingertips forward, preparing for your standing split. So shift your weight into your front foot and then extend your right leg to the sky. Toes reach high. Feel your crown of head lower towards the earth, drawing your chest closer towards that standing leg. And let's bend that top knee and stack your hips. Your foot is flexed, foot is pressing away. Energetically lift your knee high to the sky. Nice opening here. Good. We'll slowly re-extend that leg long. And now let's square up those hip points. The foot is flexed. All five toes will point down rather than off to the side. Reach up, lift up through that heel towards the sky. Good. Now on the exhale, remember very intentionally like there's some resistance, lower your extended foot to meet the standing for your forward fold. Let's breathe and lift halfway. Nice flat back. Exhalation, fold forward. And from here, we'll step your right foot back. Open your toes to the side of the mat, coming into a wide leg forward fold. So walk yourself to the side. Go ahead and widen your stance if you'd like. Bring your toes to point in and your heels out. Find a nice, deep, feel-good stretch in our wide leg forward fold. Letting that upper body release. Take five deep, conscious breaths. Heel to your feet in to a little wider than hip distance, preparing for Malasana or yoga squat. Bring your toes to point out this time and then your heels in. And when you're ready, lower your hips down through center, lifting your heart, bring your palms to kiss at heart center and placing your elbows, nestling them into the inside of your legs, pressing your knees a little wider and take those five breaths here. Breathing in, reaching out through the crown of your head and your exhalations lengthening your tailbone towards the earth for a nice long spine. Let's bring your fingertips to the mat in front of you. And on your inhalation, slowly begin to lift your hips towards the sky, returning to a forward fold. Then once you're at the top, exhalation to sink your hips back down into your yoga squat, lifting your heart. And then we'll breathe in to lift, and then keep this going for five, four to five more rounds, letting your breath guide the movement, guide your pace. May you close your eyes and make it a bit of a moving meditation, letting yourself get lost in the rhythm of your breath and how it feels to link your breath with the movement.
The next time you lower your hips, let's hold our yoga squat once more for five breaths. Beautiful, my friends. Bring one hand in front and the other behind to lower yourself to the mat with control. Bring your soles of feet to kiss for butterfly pose. Hold on wherever is accessible. And then breathe in, finding length. And on your exhale, fold forward and then round your spine out. Feeling into your body in this pose. Breathing nourishing breaths. Releasing, letting go. We'll slowly roll up and make your way to an easy cross-leg seated position. Let's take a gentle twist to the right, bringing one hand near your seat, the other to your knee. We'll breathe and return to center. Exhale, gentle twist to the opposite side. Breathe in, return to center. Gentle side body stretch. Lower your right palm to the mat. On your inhale, circle your left arm up and exhale as you reach it over to the opposite side. Your inhalation lifts you to center. Exhalation, side body stretch to the opposite side. Inhalation lifts you to center. Let's take a big, beautiful breath and circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Let's bring your thumbs to your sternum to seal the love and light in and reach your sternum up to your thumbs. Beautiful practice, my friend. Bow forward to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me on the mat today. I hope this practice left you feeling strong and connected with your body. Please throw the video a thumbs up. And if you've been practicing with me for a while, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. It really does truly help to support the work we're doing with the content we release on our channel. Share it with a friend. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. I'm sending you my love.